Hello, my name is Daniel Gallegos. I'm sitting here with my mother, Erica Yadira Flores. The date is December 8th, 2019, and we're recording this interview in my room. Okay, so your first question is going to be, what was your childhood like growing up, and what kind of kid were you? Overall, I had a lovely childhood. I was loved back then. My mom was a happier person than now. She gave me everything, love, care, material, possessions. I didn't spend much time with my dad because although I thought he was just at work away, they were actually not in good circumstance. And um, we used to go to Mexico like for the summer. That's what I remember I enjoyed the best. Um, I was able to see my grandparents and my uncles since they were immigrants they were not able to come and visit so it was amazing that um we had the opportunity to go over there and visit the whole family and be there for the three months um yeah but that's about it okay um what challenges did you face growing up when you were once a child and what adversity did you face adversity as in like challenges did you face Challenges. Um, well, my mom, she a hardworking mother. She taught me a lot in life. My dad was in the picture, but not as much. He was an alcoholic, and um, he used to spend his money on, you know, alcohol with his friends. And um, I was the one always, you know, working very hard to support all four of us. And, um, I mean, it was... Um, just really hard and you know sad the fact that at the moment my dad he paid attention and he was more into the liquor than his own family and I remember a lot of you know my mom she used to take us a lot of different places and we were like a family all together but my dad was never in the picture so it was us four with my mom okay um third question is what were your dreams like as a kid and what career did you want? What career did you want in the future? If so, what stopped you from chasing that dream? Well, my dream was always um, to be in the medical field. I always wanted to be a doctor, a provider, but at the moment, you know, when you fall in love and, you know, or things that happen at home, you just want to leave out the house. I didn't make the right decision. I don't regret it because I had my two kids, but I wish I could just go back and you know, do my, my career, be someone in life. Right now I'm in the medical field, I'm a med certified medical assistant, but that's not exactly what I wanted. That's not the goal that I wanted. I wanted to go for a provider. I know it's never too late for um to go for it, but as of now that I have my kids, I'd rather for them to have a the best career and the best, you know, life. Okay. Um, fourth question is, How'd you, pif how'd you picture your life to be when you heard that you were going to be a mother at such a young age? Uh, I mean, I was kind of nervous, but at the same time, I was very excited and happy. But I learned so much as I got pregnant at a young age. I was, at the time, 18 with my first daughter. I was 18. I mean, that made me grow up and be responsible and... Um, not only think about myself, but think about my daughter that I have to be responsible for and I had to fight in life for her and made the right choices and have at least a career for, you know, for her. And if I was ever, you know, trying to get pregnant again in the future to give them a better life. Okay. Um... Uh, what's one dream you want your kids to accomplish in the future or if so right now? I just want them to have a career to be um, successful in life um, you know not to live check by check like the way we are living right now me and their dad it's very hard like economy it's so expensive and I just want them to live their life and travel all over and um, be successful you know, like to have a career so like that they don't have to struggle in life like the way we are as of now. 
and I know they're smart and they're capable of achieving their goals in life. If you could go back in time, what's one thing you'd like to change and one thing you don't want to change? One thing that I would love to change is do everything the right way, not just, you know, um, run like the way I did because I know my mom, she did so much for us and um, she gave us everything that, you know, the love and, you know, material stuff, everything. And um, I wish that I could have done it the right way, get married through church and, you know, the way that she always wanted me to come out of my house in a white dress and um, because she did so much for us. And what I don't regret is my kids. I love my kids and I'm ever since I got pregnant from them, you know, it's just the love that I have for them. I mean, I would not turn that. I wouldn't, you know, like I just, I just love having them and I would never turn them away or, you know, like regret having them at a young age. Okay. Um, uh, can you explain more? Could you explain more about your ethnic background? Like, where were you from? Or, um, well, yeah, where were you from, pretty much? Well, I was born and raised here in Sh Chicago, United States. Um, my parents are from Mexico. And um, they used to take us like every you know in the summer just in mexico but i was born and raised here i'm from chicago um have you experienced any miracles throughout your life i mean i do believe in miracles um mm. like miracles as in like if you um experience like like for example uh have you experienced anything with um your brother like his appearance like if you felt his appearance or anything close to that well yeah um before i mean when i used to hear stories about people saying that they seen their loved ones the ones that left to heaven I mean I never thought that that was possible and ever since my brother passed away I do believe in miracles um ever since um he passed away like I've seen little signs here and there you know that he was still here he's still here with us um honestly I do believe in miracles After the death of your brother, did it bring you closer to God or push you back further away from God? And if so, why? Honestly, no matter what, I'm always going to believe in God. But honestly, it pushed me away from him. I was upset. I was very angry and sad the fact that I questioned myself. And I still question and I still ask him why. Why did you take him away from us? We are a loving, caring, humble family all together. And why us? Why do we have to go through this pain? And um, yes, it's so difficult. And it's been two years and we're still grieving. And it's, it's very hard. And yeah, I was upset. Now I'm trying my best. I want to get closer to God. I want to go to church. But ever since my brother passed, I was very upset at him. I was very, very angry. The fact that all we do is help and care about people, family, friends, and why us? Why did he t just take him away from us? Mm, when you meet God, what would you want to say to him? Just to give us the strength to help us go through this pain and to forgive me if I ever um, like um, just to forgive me the fact the words 
that came out of my mouth when I was angry about the whole situation. And I know that he will forgive me and I know I will get closer to him just because I want to feel that peace. And I, all I want is my, for my brother to be in heaven. Um, do you believe in an afterlife? And if so, what do you think it will be like? I mean, I do believe in afterlife, but honestly, I question myself. How would it be? Are we all going to reun re reunite together? Or am I able to see all my loved ones that left us? I mean, I would like to know that. Honestly, I'm not sure. Okay. Um, okay, so um, that's the end of the interview. Thank you for your time. And yeah, that's the end of my interview. Thank you. You're welcome.